Hi, good morning. My name is Tom Layden, uh, and I'm an advisor to uh, Integral. Uh, Integral is actually one of the most interesting uh, technology startups uh, that I've ever been involved with. I met the team through a uh, founder of Veeam, uh, Ratmir Timashev, and when he told me that he had some smart guys working on an AI platform, I definitely wanted to learn more. So in a nutshell, and I don't want to take away uh, anything from what uh, the CEO of Integral, um, Anton, is going to share with you, but in a nutshell, what Integral allows you to do is uh, it allows you to create AI applications that support entire business workflows. And those AI applications will use multiple agents versus where typical AI applications just use one. And e each of those agents will have their own tasks. They can collaborate to each other and you can add a lot of smart stuff to it. That's just a simple version. Why don't we dive in with Anton to learn everything about agentic AI? So I will tell you today about uh, the company and about how the idea for the company came to be, but we will actually spend most of our time uh, hands-on, uh, getting our hands dirty and doing some uh, demos, live demos of how to build different agents, and different AI applications uh, using our platform. So uh, before, before we go there, uh, let me just get the handle of my setup with two monitors. Yeah, so here's, here's the agenda of what we're gonna be talking about today. Uh, so we will have a short introduction about the AI trends and how the idea for the company came to be. Then we'll talk about AI agents, uh, what they are and why they are the way to go uh, to do AI uh, right now. We will have some uh, fun uh, with agents that uh, generate images. We'll talk about hype words such as RAG uh, or retrieval augmented generation and vector memory. Then we will move to more complex agents gradually, uh, so-called reflex agents, where we will be doing web search and email assistance scenarios. And then we will talk about uh, memory and state agents with uh, the question rebuilder scenario. And finally, we will move to the ultimate in AI, which is the agents that are able to learn. And we will talk about a pretty sophisticated agent that helps you do strategic marketing, but uh, not just that, but actually is able to work on any kind of uh, sophisticated document uh, together, together with you. And then we'll also discuss how easy it is to deploy the agents that you have created uh, to production, how to do quality assurance and benchmarking to find the most cost optimum and efficient way to run your agents. And of course, during the whole time of uh, this presentation, it will be great if you have any questions or comments, I'll, I'll be happy to uh, answer them uh, as we go. So a little bit uh, of the background. Tom already mentioned Radmir Timoshev. He's um, the founder of Vim and serial entrepreneur. Uh, Vim was his second company. And I was actually working for Atmir. I was his right hand at Vim for the first uh, 10 years of the company. Uh, you might have heard about him. He sold Vim software to Insight Venture Partners for 5 billion a couple of years ago. I actually made an exit a bit earlier and took a break, but uh, very happy to reconnect and um, co-found this company together, together with Ratmer and, and work again. So of course he's not really working full-time, but he helps a lot with uh, marketing, with positioning, with uh, uh, business strategy, and of course, he's also uh, an investor. So as for myself, uh, my name is Anton Antic. I have been in software pretty much all my life. Um, I have measured in physics, so I sort of uh, was always curious about continuing the research, and I was following the AI research as well uh, over the last uh, 20 years. And building Integral is sort of the culmination of um, both the development of technology and sort of my path, because I was always passionate about it and the ability to build the agents, which we will be discussing today, really excites me. And uh, I'm quite passionate about what's possible. So let's, uh, let's see what we can do together. All right. So... AI, uh, I mean, it's it's such a huge topic uh, and uh, different people have different uh, opinions and different meanings uh, towards the world. 
Uh, I would say the revolution probably started, as you probably know, with the invent of artificial uh, neural networks and the gradient descent algorithm that allowed us to train uh, so-called deep neural networks. Then we invented computer vision. Then we had very cool things such as deep reinforcement learnings with the products such as AlphaGo and AlphaZero, which were able to actually uh, play better than humans in, in Go and chess. Uh, that, that was an amazing progress. And then finally, of course, with the advent of so-called uh, large language models, uh, such as ChatGPT, uh, and this is what usually people mean by AI today. Uh, and what we see right now uh, ourselves and why we are building this company is we see it as the perfect moment to actually be building the AI that is pragmatic and that is able to help people to solve their day-to-day -day problems and make them in general uh, happier because you can outsource all the boring stuff to the AI, you can have fun with the AI, and then you can also focus on the creative parts of your uh, work or, or life. And in general, what I would say we see right now is that uh, people are roughly divided into two camps. Uh, on one hand, we have AI skeptics who have tried ChatGPT or similar products and they, they tried asking some factual questions or something, they saw that it hallucinates, they saw some other issues and they became disillusioned. Uh, they say, okay, it's another hype cycle which will pass. And uh, we will have also seen uh, quite a bit of publications to that effect as well, that the AI hasn't really produced any noticeable um, effect on the economy. So in general skepticism, uh, as usual, after a very big hype cycle starts to uh, starts to be noticeable. But on the other hand, we also have another camp which is very enthusiastic about uh, so-called AGI, artificial general intelligence. They think that uh, companies such as OpenAI or Google or somebody else will create a superhuman intelligence and, and, and will solve all our problems. So we believe strongly that the truth is in the middle as usual, and the middle is exactly what Tom has mentioned and what we will be discussing today is the agentic AI. So the ability to build smart artificial intelligence agents that are autonomous, that work together with humans, and that are able to make our lives and our jobs uh, much more productive and um, enjoyable. So, what is agentic AI? I'm, I'm not gonna read the definition, it's uh, on the screen, but basically the idea is that instead of waiting for artificial general intelligence that is able to do all the tasks for you, we can build a bunch of uh, agents that are specialized. Each of them can do one task well, and then working together as a team, they are able to basically achieve pretty much the same result. That's why we call this approach pragmatic AGI, because it actually doesn't have to be uh, artificial general intelligence, it doesn't have to be superhuman. It is much more controllable. Uh, we can shape and form those AI agents any way we like, but at the same time, they are able to solve much more complex problems than uh, typical uh, chatbots uh, currently can. So, Basically, to make the lives of people easier to build those AI agents, uh, we have created Integrate. It's the platform for very fast and very easy no-code creation of the uh, agentic AI applications, of AI agents. You can build any type of AI agent pretty much very, very fast. That is what we're going to be doing today uh, during our demos. And basically, how, how did the idea for the company came to be? And everybody, and I'm sure you are probably following what's happening on the market. And lots of AI startups have appeared in the last two, three, four years. And they try to automate a very specific scenario. So most of the startups that are appearing are focusing on one specific task. For instance, they say, okay, let's automate, uh, automate a uh, sales development representative and, and, and uh, make them more productive or change them completely. And they focus on this scenario. Or another company comes up and they say, okay, let's do an automatic agent that is able to create websites. And they focus on this scenario as well. But 
when we were discussing it with Ratmir and uh, uh, while we were doing also other companies, uh, for me, it's, it's kind of uh, too little. I was always greedy. There are so many ideas of the ages that you can build, uh, both for business purposes or for fun purposes that we actually needed the platform for us to be able to create those agents very, very fast, to be able to experiment, to be able to read a paper uh, that research uh, scientists in AI came up with and try it uh, on our platform really fast. Because Anton, without, yeah? um, so I, I got a couple questions. First is, is this, does this work with multiple LLMs like Llama and ChatGPT and Vertex and all those things, Gemini? Yeah, correct. Second question is, how do you coordinate multiple, I'll call them chatbots, to provide the same you know, goal in this and, and coordinate and collaborate and create a common context so that these things can all work together? Yeah, no, that's a great question. And that's exactly what we, uh, what we are doing. Uh, through uh, providing them with common context, with common memory, and the ability also to build them into hierarchies. So you, you can build agents that actually manage other agents and then the, they sort of go towards uh, one goal. But I think it will be easier as I go and show it uh, because I'm sure okay. everybody has Great. different levels of um, understanding there. Um, yeah, so... This is, this is the architecture of, of the solution uh, that, that we have built. Uh, in the middle is the actual studio. Uh, so what it does, we connect all kinds of different AI models. It's not just LLMs. We uh, have a bunch of different generative AI models, including text-to-speech, text-to-image, text-to-video, et cetera, et cetera. Then it's a very key part, uh, ability to integrate with external business applications because again, one of the main limitations of products such as ChatGPT is that they cannot do anything for you. They can talk to you, they can generate text, but they cannot really send an email on your behalf or they cannot read your pipeline in your CRM system, et cetera. So this is the ability we provide that's uh, very important. And then of course, there is a retrieval augmented generation. We will discuss it quite a bit. We have vector memory built in uh, into the solution. On top of that, we have a no-code visual editor uh, that we will show you also in a second. Then we have a pretty important part uh, called benchmarking tool that allows you to compare performance of different LLMs and the agents that you have created so that you can ensure the quality of output that they provide. And then we also have one click deploy uh, into production. So that's, that's the um, core of Integrail. In terms of the UI, uh, you are able to interact with the agents you create either via custom API, so you can build custom UI around the agents you have created and build any kind of um, application. Uh, we have, of course, familiar for everyone, uh, chatbot interface. Uh, mobile app is coming soon. It's not there yet. Uh, Discord uh, is available. I will show you the preview, but it's not uh, available for general public. And then we're also creating a Chrome plugin again, to interact with any kind of agents that you create here. And then using all that, you are able to solve any kinds of issues that are here on the right. And again, I mean, people often ask us like, okay, what, what kind of use cases? But uh, the point is and what we are trying to do is to be able to automate any repetitive task. And I, I really liked how one of our early customers put it. Um, they said that uh, my message to all my employees is if you do something boring more than twice, you should be pissed off and you should be <laughs> thinking, how do I automate it with AI? And I really love this approach because if there is something repetitive, something that you have to do like day to day, most likely you can build an agent at least to help you do that, but maybe even uh, completely automate that. So, so Anton, do you seriously think that they can get and do these applications without any code? I mean, I've, I've used Visual Editor and used LLMs to generate code. Sometimes it works, sometimes it's down level, sometimes it doesn't work. Most often it compiles, I'll say that much, but uh, it doesn't often actually do what I'm trying to do. 
uh, right. So we are not trying to actually generate code, even though we do generate code actually for us internally as well. But that's just one of the uh, applications. Uh, normally, what you're building is uh, some kind of a business uh, assistant, uh, again, to do some kind of business that, like, for instance, generate a marketing campaign and then execute it uh, and things like that. Um, but we will look also at the um, at what, what real no code means uh, on our platform. Okay, so the approach to create any kind of AI agent is uh, basically four steps that we recommend. First, you design uh, the agent for a specific business process or for a specific task. You integrate with external applications and tools, including automatic integration uh, that we are going to provide with the official launch. And by the way, I haven't said it in the beginning, but the official public launch of our platform is September 17th. So today we're doing preview. I'm going to be demoing uh, stuff on the um, uh, on the cutting edge uh, version. And everybody who is uh, watching it before September 17th or now are welcome to try the early preview version uh, on production as well. But be mindful that some things may be missing or might not be working because official public launch date is September 17th. Um, but anyway, so we do design, we do integrate. Uh, then we usually optimize to make sure it's cost effective and it provides the quality we need. And then we deploy. And deploy is available in the cloud or optionally on-premise if you have uh, higher security um, requirements. 